Welcome back to the channel guys. If it's your first time here, my name is Etienne. I'm the owner of Creative Car Detailing and I like to make my cars look good and go fast. If you haven't clicked the subscribe button yet, do that now, right down in this corner. For those of you following me already, you guys would have seen I've been quiet over the past couple of weeks, maybe two weeks or so. CCD is relocating. I'll share that with you guys later. This is just a quick sneak peek of my new workspace. All the lights that I put in. So this is where I'll be working from now on. I will still be operating in Montana Park. Not far from where I used to work. I'll actually be closer to the highway for those of you coming from far. It will be more easily accessible for you guys. I'll have more room to work with. As you can see, this is a double car garage with a double car port outside. It's still a mess. I'm still busy working here. But today, I brought this. I'm prepping the car for grounded. Actually, both my cars is going to grounded. So I'll start off with this car. It's in a it's in a state. I haven't cleaned this in ages. So I'm gonna clean it, gonna give it a quick detail. I need to clean the inside. It's a complete mess. The car is very faulty. So I'm gonna give this a quick detail. Then I'm gonna fetch my Tiguan. I'll prep that. Ground it is two days from now, but the cars need to go in tomorrow. So I've got the remainder of today and then tomorrow to prep the cars. First of all, I need to get into my work clothes. This is not suitable clothes for working on a diesel. You guys owning diesels would definitely know that. This is more suitable. First off, I'm gonna take the bumper off. No need really, the only thing I want to do is I want to clean in there since you guys will be able to check it at the show. So I'm going to pull the bumper, I'm going to clean behind and then I'm going to put it back on. Got the car washed, pulled it in. It's a nightmare. As you can see, it's full of water spots. Not sure how much of it I'll be able to get out because I'm not going to spend too much time detailing the paint. Definitely needs a clay, you can hear how rough it is. So I'm going to start by decontaminating the paint and then I'll move over to a polish. I'm probably going to do a two step, but we'll see. Got some marks here now. The paint is rough. The car hasn't been treated well. It's always sitting outside. Sometimes it goes months without being washed and getting the car cover on it. So it'll just sit outside in the elements. You can see how terrible it is. But I'm gonna do a quick T step and let's see what we get out of it. I got the car decontaminated, the paint's feeling a lot better as you guys can hear. It's smooth. So it's now just water spots and a few other defects that I need to sort out. So 
of this is the result from a single step polish. You can see it's hazy, but compared to the before condition, this is going to turn out nice. So this is a two-step and it's looking absolutely beautiful. I'm not going to go for a show finish guys, the bonnets anyway are going to be open for you guys to peek at the lovely engine bay, but I just wanted this to look better than what I did. I did coat the car last year, beginning of last year, I coated it with Seacots UK. I'll see if I can get the video and then put up the link for that. But honestly guys, this wasn't too hard. I suspect the coating took the beating and not the paint. I'm really happy with how it's turning out. So the car came a long way today, I got it all polished up, it's looking a lot better than what I did earlier today. So I still need to do LSP, for those of you who don't know what that is, last step protection or wax. Since the car has been coated early last year, I'm gonna go with Gion Cure. I suspect I polished off the coating obviously, but I just want to put you on cure. That's what I want on the car, that's what I'm going to put on the car tomorrow. I need to fetch it from my parents. Other than that, I need to clean the windows. I need to clean the back of the car. Well, I stripped everything out, it's so dirty, I need to clean that. And then the car is basically good to go. Tomorrow morning I'm fetching a trailer. So I can trailer this car with the Tiguan since the Tiguan is going to the show as well. So I'm going to be towing this car, trailering this car with the Tiguan to the show. Tomorrow morning I'm picking up the trailer, then I'm sorting out the Tiguan. And then I can load this car and head out to the show. I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Welcome back guys. The polo is almost ready. As you can see it's looking a lot better than yesterday. I still need to clean the boot. And then put you on key on it and then it's going to be sharp. I got the trailer this morning so after I put protection on this I can quickly wash and clean the thick one inside and then that's going to be it then I'll catch you guys at the show. I couldn't get too much footage of me cleaning the thick one up but I'm pretty sure it's nothing you guys have, have not seen from my channel already. I got the polo loaded up I'm finally heading out to Nasrek now so I'm finally heading out about an 80k drive and then I'll be there as you can see got the polo behind me I'll update you guys as soon as we get there finally made it grounded inside the hall, still a bit empty but I'm gonna start unloading the polo now while I wait for the other guys to rock up. 